All right, everyone, thanks for joining us in the Navigant Credit Union Broadcast Center. It's my pleasure to introduce DJ Logic. He's joining us via Skype. How are you doing? I'm doing perfectly fine. I'm doing great. I'm excited. Good, good, good stuff. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm very excited to be chatting with you today. You will be in town for the Newport Jazz Festival. You are playing Saturday and Sunday, and you have put together just this phenomenal group of musicians um, that you'll be playing with, Project Logic. Tell us a little bit about it. Uh, yeah, I'm putting together, well, I'm bringing some amazing musicians who are good friends of mine as well as good musicians and talented and uh, I'm bringing Vernon Reed who's a, a wonderful guitarist who's played with many 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 he's a veteran and, and a good friend and we also have a group called Yohembe Brothers that we that we do as well I'm bringing James Hurt who's been playing with me for quite a long time um, I'm bringing uh, Marcus Gilmore who's also a talented drummer who's played with uh, Chick Corea. Uh, then I'm bringing Mono Neon on bass, who's played with Prince. I'm bringing uh, uh, Keon Harrell, trumpet player, who's, who's actually a Grammy Award winning trumpet player who just played, who, who did work on the Miles Ahead movie, as well as, you know, he's played with countless other bands as well as his own. He has his own thing happening and his own record coming out soon. And then also I have Jalil Shaw from Sax coming out with me as well. And then myself on the turntables. This is just like just going to be absolutely incredible and what you do is is amazing. Listening to it all day today. Um, tell us a little bit about your style. You've really collaborated with so many talented musicians. Just tell us a little bit about your background for people who aren't familiar with your work. Uh, well, I grew up in New York and I grew up in the Bronx and, uh, you know, I just grew up listening to hip hop and listening to music in general, um, collecting records and, you know, just kind of digging and, uh, you know, just kind of just searching out interesting things, sounds and things like that. And uh, yeah, started playing with uh, Vernon Reed from Living Color, then started doing work with uh, Modesky, Martin and Wood, and the old downtown scene, Don Byron, um, John Schofield, uh, Mark Rebo, uh, Charlie Hunter, Bobby Previtt, uh, Christian McBride, you know, it's just the, the jazz DJ as well as a hip hop DJ. So, you know, it's just a very eclectic DJ that, uh, you know, just had my ears to a lot of things. Yeah, it's so cool to have this, it has this unique vibe. You have the hip hop world and you have the jazz world uh, and you blend them together so well. It's just this, it's this great sound. And you're performing at the Newport Jazz Festival, only DJ there this year. Um, I'm not sure if there's been any other DJs before. To my knowledge, I don't know that there has been. I was trying to look mm -hmm. up that fact. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I was kind of digging that out myself. Um, you know, I had the opportunity to play the Newport Jazz Fest a, a couple of times and as a guest, you know, so playing with uh, uh, Till Farrell uh, and his Latin Jazz Orchestra, which was uh, which was a pleasure and an honor. Also playing with Modesky Martin Wood. And um, yeah, it, you know, it, it, Newport Jazz Fest is, is you know, an iconic festival and a lot of legends have Played all, you know, played the state, played those stages, I should say, and uh, you know, it's an honor for me to bring my band, Project Logic, and bring something special to the stage and to the people there. And looking forward to it uh, quite a bit. It should be a very exciting weekend, just with your talent and so many others. Um, you've collaborated with, you've named several people, but you've also, you know, collaborated with. Uh, different musicians such as John Mayer, Ben Harper, those are people that you might not put into the categories that you were describing. Um, yeah. so, so pretty interesting. I think I was checking out your Facebook page. I think you had Jack Johnson on there as well. So yeah. uh, you're pretty you're pretty inclusive when it comes to music. Is there anything that you're just, are you kind of like when it comes to music, you're just willing to take a sound and just let it go? 
Uh, yeah, you know, I just kind of just be open minded, you know, and uh, and listen, you know, and all those all those different names you mentioned. Everybody has John Mayer has a different style. Jack Johnson has a different style, you know, and uh, like Marcus Miller has yeah. a different style, you know, and I just kind of approach it each differently, you know, and just listen to what they have going on and then add, add my, you know, season into the, to the sound. I, I like that. And you have, um, not only have you performed with all these artists and collaborated with them, but you have three albums yourself out. Uh, what has it been like to put out albums and then go out and perform on the road? Uh, it's great. It's, it's, it's fun to be in the studio and working with musicians. It's also fun going out on the road with the musicians, you know? So, you know, it's all, it's all different, you know? You can get the live feel where you're interacting with the audience and then you got the the inside the studio feel where you're just like contained and you're being creative, you know, and you're creating your masterpiece. What do you think it takes right now for DJs up and coming? You know, there's a lot of interest in music right now and just different sounds, different tunes. Um, we have all this, uh, we have electronics to our benefit, I suppose. What do you think it takes for an up and coming DJ right now to, to make it in the industry? Uh, you know, perfect your craft. You know, that's one thing, perfect your craft keep doing what you're doing um don't let nobody tell you you know anything else just keep doing what you're doing being keep being creative keep keep listening go go out and listen to some music go listen to other artists uh also listen to some some of the older artists you know i go back and listen to some of some of the famous jazz icons and stuff like that because everybody has some something um you know some information that's uh, you know helpful to what maybe you're doing and you just put it in your own way you know what I'm saying so I just try to listen to everything and you know and try to turn it make it into my own little thing I like that I like that um, as you get ready for this weekend what do you expect and what are you hoping to do I'm hoping to blow people's minds you know I'm hoping to have a good show and you know, bring something special to Newport Jazz and uh, see him, you know, and continuing it, you know, and seeing other people come right behind me doing the same thing, you know, just being creative and, and seeing all the collaborative, you know, things going down. I love that. I love that. Well, DJ Logic, I really appreciate your time. I know you have to go. I know you have to run. You have a sound check to do. So I really appreciate you chatting with us. A busy man making music out there. I look forward to having you at the Newport Jazz Festival this weekend. You have a show uh, Saturday and Sunday. So looking forward to hearing what you have for us coming up. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, look out. You know, look out for me. I'll be touring soon, touring with uh, sure. my project, Project Logic, also mm -hmm. doing some tours with the Miles Electric Band cool. and, uh, and the Yohembe Brothers. Cool, good stuff. Well, look out for Project Logic. DJ Logic, thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate it. Uh, have a good one tonight and look forward to seeing you this weekend. Take care. All right, go local. Peace. <laughs>